Hi there, my name's Lorraine Prokopiu and welcome to The Reformer Studio. I'm going to talk today a little bit about getting on and off The Reformer in various positions and doing that in a safe way. A lot of the insurance companies tell us that a lot of the accidents that happen in Reformer Studios are actually getting on and off the equipment rather than the exercise themselves. So we're going to get started with looking at coming down to lying on our backs. So I've got my reformer set up here ready to do some footwork. So I need to lie down on my back. So just double checking that the springs are on so that your carriage is nice and sturdy. And then the safest way to go is to actually put almost one butt cheek onto the edge of the reformer and the other one is almost in the springs there. And then I'm going to take the hand that's nearest the foot bar is actually coming all the way over and coming onto this shoulder rest. And I'm almost going to thread this through, a bit like thread the needle, rolling down to log roll onto the reformer and then I'm pretty much there, ready to go for my footwork. Then coming off, we do the same in reverse. So we're going to take the feet over to one side and then almost let them hang over Again, I'm using this hand to push back up and return to sitting, or I can just come straight up to standing, how I just did there. Um, the reason for that is that you just go straight down into a supine position. What you'll often see in the studio is people will sit just right in the middle of the carriage and then attempt to lie back and get tangled up in the shoulder rest. So the whole reason for doing that is to just stop that from happening. So now we're going to move into the standing position on the reformer. So uh, first of all, I'm going to pop the uh, foot bar all the way down. And because I'm just using the wooden piece here, I'm going to bring the carriage a little closer. So I'm going to bring this as close as I can. Um, and then when you're standing on the reformer, you always want to think, this bit moves, this bit stays still. So I'm going to put my weight on the piece that stays still first and then come on up into standing so I can then go in to some standing work like this. Then coming off, we're going to do the same in reverse. I'm going to take my body weight onto the piece that st stays still and step off with the carriage standing leg and then step all the way off with the other leg. If you're working with a client in a one-to-one -one situation, you would want to spot them through this quite carefully. And if you're working in a group situation, you'd probably want to have them all working with a gondola pole. And I would definitely do this with more experienced Reformer Pilates clients. Finally, we're going to look at using the short box on the reformer and getting on and off that in that short box position. So first things first, I want to make sure I've got enough springs on. So I'm just going to add another spring to this situation here and then bring out the reformer foot strap. And again, I'm just going to give that a little tug and make sure that's nice and secure. That feels good. So here's my short box and I'm just going to place it across the reformer like that. So that means it's a short box because it goes across the reformer just like this. In this situation, I've got it pressed up against the shoulder rests. In others, you may actually um, have it over the head rests there, the shoulder rests, I should say. So remember, when you're about to sit on to the box, it is just resting on there. So the only thing holding it on is with gravity. So if you lean on it on one side, it will tip. So always make sure you're going to sit in the centre and you're nice and supported. So I'm going to carefully come on. I've got lots of springs on there, so the carriage is quite sturdy. And then I can hook my feet underneath. And again, give that a good pull and just check you're ready to go before you do any leaning back. And then just remember when you're coming off, same thing, that because you've got a very slight overhang here, you could push and tip it off. So just reminding yourself, reminding your clients, just to make sure you're carefully coming off to make sure you don't make the box tip 